Capitol, only on 13. It may be one of Houston's most horrifying murders caught on camera. And it happened in full view of neighbors in a subdivision near the Gulf Freeway in the Pecan Park neighborhood. ABC 13's Brooke Taylor is joining us now here in the studio. Yeah, and Brooke, this really shocked a lot of us here in the newsroom. It did, and sources close to this case tell me that this is some of the most horrifying footage they have seen in their careers. Police haven't said if the victim knew the killer, but they're hoping that a neighbor's video leads to a quick conviction and justice for his family. Only on 13, deeply disturbing and shocking video of a murder in broad daylight. On May 3rd, the victim, Stephen Anderson, is walking on Woodridge Square Drive to pick up his mail, sources tell us. He turns around at the sound of a screeching car speeding right into him. We're pausing the video right before he gets hit. The car reverses and hits him again, pushing him further into the street. Neighbors are on the phone frantically calling 911. Another neighbor comes out with a pillow. And that's when the suspect, Karen Fisher, identified in court records as a man, but also described as she by police, returns with a knife in hand. The suspect yanks and flips Anderson over, straddles him, and kisses him. We're not showing what happens next because it's too graphic, but that's when police say Fisher stabs him nine times. She casually walks off as if nothing happened and neighbors just watch. She then tries getting into another car while talking to witnesses. When that's unsuccessful, she leaps over the body and walks away. It's very disturbing, yeah, because, you know, I have kids here. So it, it, our kids could have been out here playing and, and imagine that. 20 year old Karen Fisher is in jail tonight, charged with murdering this 64 year old. Her bond is set at $2 million. Broad daylight, it was, it was people, were, it, was, it was a busy intersection. It happened right, right under our, our noses, you know. Just truly so shocking. I spoke to neighbors that you saw in that video. They are still traumatized by that, as you can imagine. One woman even told me that she hasn't been to work and is trying to find a therapist. This is a heavy story right it here, is. and some, it's hard to get some context here as well. Brooke, now we know the suspect's 20 years old. Have they been in trouble before? You know, the night that this happened, she was also charged with assaulting a nurse at Ben Top Hospital. And we checked records, and back in 2023, she was charged with evading arrest, and she's been on a five year community supervision from that. We also found a prostitution charge from 2021. That charge was ultimately dismissed.